what is up guys and girls this is Glenn here once again with another rope rage video and in this video we're going to be looking at how to jump rope with precision timing with sharp as nails clean as a whistle timing so scenario you're having one of those days where you're training and the techniques aren't quite landing or your rhythm just isn't in sync and you're just not really feeling it. This is probably down to your timing just being off key. So to break this down, there are three main elements of jump rope rhythm. They are your jumping technique, so the feet, your rope rotation, so the hands, and then there's your timing, which is more a mental coordination of the two. Here's a tool that I often recommend to help out with timing and to make your timing that much sharper and that much cleaner. So there's a tool I like to use which I call the clock face. The thing is, once you've got this down, once you're able to precisely time your rhythm, you can really, really play around with it. You can go super fast and then really break it down and bring it really slow. sorts of rope manipulations and know exactly how to time your rhythm so that you don't keep tripping over the rope and messing up. So with the clock face the idea is to picture the rotation of your rope, the path that your rope takes while it's rotating. You see that circle? You have to picture that as a clock face. So once you've got your clock face you've got 12 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 9 o'clock. You use these positions during your rope's journey around the clock face to time when you're to jump according to the technique. So what do I mean by this? We'll see here for your regular single under starting really slowly. As the rope is going through the clock face, my jump is quite late, round about between five and six o'clock. Now, that's for a slow technique, but it gets really interesting when you factor in a double under, because for the double under, you're jumping pretty much around five, six o'clock also. The reason for this is because you've got two rotations to get in with that rope. So the best thing to do is to get that first rotation in as late as is possible. So you jump, pretty much at the last possible second and this gives you maximal time in the air while that rope's rotating to get those two rotations in. But if you do this when you're doing your single unders, if you're doing really quick single unders, you'll fly out of rhythm. So with the really quick single unders, you're gonna be jumping slightly earlier, around four o'clock. So I'm hoping all these clock times aren't frying our brains already. And if they're not, that's good, but I'm gonna warn you that they might start getting fried as we go into rope manipulations and other techniques. The first thing, crossovers. So we've understood how we're gonna jump according to the clock face, but if you're manipulating the rope, so for a crossover, which is a good example, if you watch as I'm doing a regular crossover just here, you can see that I cross the rope between 12 and three o'clock. And that's because I need to get that rope across and the hands in position with enough time so that the rope can pass underneath the feet and the rope isn't tangled. If you're getting your crosses in after three o'clock, 
either you're doing very, very, very fast crossovers, or if you're not and you're learning, this might be the reason why your crossovers keep messing up. You're getting your cross in too late and there isn't enough time for that rope to form the circle that you're gonna jump through. It's still crossing over and then it will just catch your feet. So bear in mind, when you're starting out with a regular crossover, you wanna go 12 and three. Now here's where it gets uh, a bit sticky. Counterclockwise rotations of the rope. So backwards rotations if you're skipping backwards. Now our clock face is going backwards. So for an example, if you're doing a backwards crossover, you've got your rope manipulation now thrown in with your jump. And with this specific technique, the rope manipulation and the jump are done pretty far apart. And this is why people get really caught up with the backwards crossover. You're going anti-clockwise. If we're using our clock face, you're crossing the rope at between three and 12 o'clock. But that rope has still got to go back around and you're not jumping until it's coming round to six o'clock again. So you're using your clock face to understand the timing of your jump and the timing of your rope rotation or your rope manipulation. All right, so a bit of a new concept there. I hope it helps out. I hope it helps out with your thinking of how you're gonna time your jumps, how you're gonna get that silky smooth rhythm. Just remember the clock face. Remember that for certain techniques, you need to jump at different times. The rhythm isn't going to apply for every technique. It's about working with it and finding that rhythm. So I'm hoping this helped out. Really the main aim of this channel is to turn you into a rope workout ninja by getting you to think of your rope training differently and if you want to see more videos like these to help out take a moment to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell next to it the way youtube works nowadays is you're probably not going to see the video unless you've hit the notification bell so when the no notification bell is turned on you will get a nice little message saying, oh, the video has been uploaded. You might want to check it out. So it's worth hitting that notification bell. Also, if you liked the video, feel free to hit that like button and share it with a friend. And if there are future uh, topics you want me to look at, drop them in the comments section. I read all the comments, I respond to all the comments. Uh, sometimes I take a bit longer than I'd like, but I'm working on it and I do respond to each comment. I love to have a chat with you guys in the comments section. Let me know how your training's getting on. And thank you for taking time out of your day. You could have been doing anything else with these 10, 12 minutes. I don't know how long this video is gonna be until I edit it. But you chose to watch this video and I appreciate it. I hope this video has helped you out. Until next time, all the best with your training and stay raging. You must subscribe. If you don't, we have no videos. <laughs> subscribe to this video once again. Subscribe. That's it. Thank you. And subscribe for all the videos that we watch. If it's finished, we get more videos coming on. Yep. So subscribe to all of the videos that we watched. You must subscribe. Press the press button and then you will see all the different kind of buttons you want to press. You can press which one is your favorite one, then you can choose which one is your favorite one. You have to learn and you have to train so you can get big. Yeah. Subscribe! <laughs>